it's being described as the end of an era. Disney is shutting 18 television channels in Southeast Asia and Hong Kong from October. It says the move is part of a global pivot towards a direct-to-consumer model. It launched its uh, Disney Plus streaming service in the region this year. The affected channels include Fox Sports. The decision doesn't come as a surprise, though. The TV landscape has been undergoing a transition with fewer subscribers and falling ratings. Consumers have also shown a preference for on-demand viewing. That's pushed cable network owners to start their own streaming services. Disney Plus has racked up more than 100 million subscribers globally since it was launched in late 2019. Well, Dr. Clive Chu from the Nanyang Business School joins us now. Dr. Chu, streaming has been the game changer in recent years. Uh, this seems to be taking it up a notch. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, I think maybe many people are surprised that um, Disney has pulled out this 18 channels, uh, remembering that uh, they have recently have also uh, been able to garner more than 100 million subscribers worldwide. So um, this is uh, definitely quite a surprise, actually. To, uh, Dr. Chu, uh, what does this say? about you know the the consumer habits you know the pivot from uh, cable channels to on-demand services well i think it is about uh a couple of things that uh, consumer would have to consider i think well, first of all uh, whether there's a, a contract ongoing contract with the with the current um the company uh, now, if, if there's an ongoing contract, then I think they will have to just uh, write it out, the contract. Uh, so, the, the uh, what do you call that, the entry into online uh, subscribers or uh, subscribing services is actually very low. So, some, you know, anybody can actually switch to online uh, streaming quite easily. So, um, but in this case, it's different. They are, they are not going to get out of uh, these, um, uh, what is it, these online streaming. In fact, they are just consolidating the, the businesses in uh, Southeast Asia and in Hong Kong. Mm. And, you know, with this increasing competition from, you know, Netflix, Amazon, Disney+, Plus, uh, what does this mean for cable operators going forward? You know, is this model dead? No, I, I don't think so, um, because I think it is all about content. If you look at uh, such kind of a business, as long as the cable operators are able to generate content that are in demand, I think they, they will still be able to keep themselves in the business. Uh, in fact, what has um, helped Disney or even Netflix, right, is really the content. So um, as long as they can curate the content, I think that will be good. Yeah, and speaking of content, well, you know, competition among streaming services is obviously heating up because Netflix, Disney, all have the hottest titles. So do you see consolidation among these players down the road? Well, I think the smaller players might, but the bigger ones that can generate their own content will continue to, to operate, I think, independently. Yeah, um, so I, I would say that uh, by and large, the big companies will still continue uh, with its uh, operating model without having to consolidate. All right, yeah. thanks so much for that. Dr. Clive Chu there from the NTU.